Virtual Man recently released his 256 gigabyte XI image, and man, was it cool. But I didn't want to make a 30 minute video, so in this video, I'm doing what I didn't do in that video, which is I'm going to overclock my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus up to 1.5 gigahertz, and I'm going to play some Dreamcast and some Nintendo 64, because those are the two systems that I find benefit the most from an overclock. Um, and then some arcade games, some, th some things like that. Um, I'm not doing anything hardcore, it's just a 1.5 that's built in script on this image. And then as far as my case, I'm using like a hybrid case, I'll put a link to it in the description, but any decent case, as long as it's not the stock case, um, should do just fine at that 1.5. It's not, it's nothing extreme, the Pi can handle it for hours and hours on end. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this uh, checks out with temps and performance. Hello YouTube, we are uh, in Virtual Man's 256 gigabyte XI build, kind of like the iPhone XI. And uh, for this video, I want to go ahead and overclock as well as set up my Dreamcast controls as well. So first thing to do is go to RetroPie Setup. We're just going to set up our Ridecast controls really quick here. And you go to Configuration and Tools, should be a Ridecast emulator, there we go. Press OK. And uh, you just got to go do the step-by-step, -step, configure inputs for RyCast. It looks like you need a keyboard. So let's go ahead and go zero, afterglow, cool. All right, exit, yes. Uh, I'm going to use my Xbox controller, I like that one. Do you want an A button? Yes. A. Do you want a B button? Yes. B. Do you want a C button? No. D, no. X, yes. X, Y. Yes, I want a Y, and Y is Y. Do I want a Z? Uh, I like, sometimes games need Z, so I'm going to go ahead and map a Z on here. Do you want to start? Yes. Do you want a D-pad? Yes. Left button, up button. Do you want a D-pad 2? No. No. Trigger left? Yes. Trigger right? Yes. Oh, whoops, I gotta do yes first. Trigger right, yes. Trigger right. Do you want an analog stick? Yes. As far left as possible on the analog. As far up as possible. All right, I'm done. Cool. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Escape. Okay. All right, so we set up our Dreamcast controls. So that's how you do it, because we're going to be playing some Dreamcast in this particular build and then uh, let's go ahead and try his overclock script because a lot of you guys want that easy overclock you don't even have to put it in a computer so um, pi 3b it's going to go from 1.4 it looks like to 1.5 so we want the red pill for the pi 3b plus 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 okay all right now it's going to reboot all right and I believe, let's just check this really quick, that you can actually check uh, your config here. I think system info should tell you. If not, you can go to uh, command prompt. So there you go. CPU max megahertz, 1500, also known as 1.5. Cool. PlayStation already runs great on the Pi. It's just going to run even better. Um, Nintendo 64 is really where we're going to see the big performance and Dreamcast. So since we set up our Dreamcast controls, let's just make sure those are all working. One of my favorite games on this image is the racing game here. I always forget the name of it. Where is it? Hey, yeah, it's M. Metropolis Street Racer. Fun little game. And like the graphics were pretty good for its time. Let's try it it's hard. Flame Ray. set up my Dreamcast controls. So I'm using my right trigger, my analog stick is working just fine. You might be able to hear it on my... And then your left trigger is your other brain. 
and traditions that go back. Oh, I got it! Wow, look at that. Did I get it? Look at me go. I hope I don't have my kids in there. Yeah, no children were harmed in the this video. You made it! You did it. That horrible driving, you did it. Nice. racing now. As you see, this runs great. It actually runs pretty good without the overclock, but you know, a little bit helps. We're in the city, San Fran. So I was saying earlier in the video about my uh, case here. Oh, it's pretty dark. That, uh, it has a fan, it has a fan, so it's going to be fine. And, uh, and we went to catch a pro. Get it. Yeah. It's a long, long road to no fair when you travel in long. It's a long and empty freeway if you end up on your own. And you've been to all the places and there's nowhere left to roam. Go find yourself a woman. We're gonna so we went last to the right. wedding store, looked at rings, found three or four. We saw so many now the thing we saw. Dress was such a perfect fit, then we know. Alright. So Man, that pie's not even warmed up yet. So my exit emulator, I set it as my um as my Xbox 360 button there, but um, I think I have my keyboard, so let's go ahead and F4. We can check our temps really quick. So there's my temps, I'm just with a basic case and a small fan, a little cheap, you know, $15 case. Let's try uh, Soul Calibur. So the arcade version of this game um, does lag a little bit on the Pi, and so this is a really good option, similar graphics. Welcome back to the stage of history. Let's do it. Come on, Maxi, bring it on. And then some of the tearing you can see in the background is pretty standard. So, no, no lag in play. All right, so fairly, fairly good stuff there. Um, Power Stone plays great on a stock clock. Um, let's go ahead and do Aqua GT really quick. get the point all right and then let's hit up the Nintendo 64 let's do a wheelie here yeah oh 
Come on, get back on your bike. You got this. This is a little road rash. Whew. Whew. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, 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 get him. Got him. Let's finish him off with a wheelie. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Punch him, punch him. Get him, get, get him. Oh! oh. <laughs> I still got third place. Oh. So that's run pretty good. Here's Micro Machines, one of my favorite games. Um, and it tends to lag a little bit in the menus, but it's going pretty good right here. Again, this is an awesome multiplayer game. Two player, I think you could do four, up to four. All right, bring it on, Dwayne, Bonnie, Jade, Chen. Yeah, buddy. How did they get a better start? Oh, I guess they. Uh... Oh, does that count? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That was not good. Oh, get out of my way, green. Oh, watch out. Coming for you guys. Second place already? Oh, no, second lap. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm in second. Okay. <gasps> Almost lost that. Rebound. Oh, shoot. He's got a little power up there. See how he's got a little claw? So once I pass him, he's probably going to claw me. See what I'm saying? Do that claw move. Oh! Do you see that? That's as close as it gets. Take that, dude. Bonnie thought she had me. Look at that. Less 0.2 seconds with the difference. 0.2. And I got a prize car. Who's got the ice cream truck now? All right, I'm gonna exit out of here. You guys get it. It's running great. So um, a lot of people question, you know, why did Virtual Man put all these Nintendo 64 games on here? Because, you know, a lot of these games should run pretty decent on the Raspberry Pi. Um, you know, if we get another Raspberry Pi, I know we just got that small form factor one, which is great for portable devices and some other applications. But as far as for gaming and performance, it's not really going to help us out so much. But maybe we'll get another one that will help. Um, it'll help with these PSP minis a little bit. Some of these do take a little bit more processing power, like the Terminator. Um, these are all going to run just fine, stock clock. Really where you're going to see, some, and then some of the arcade games, there's a few arcade games, like probably 10 or so, that'll see a little bit of performance boost. Um, and then Dreamcast and Nintendo 64, as we showed you in this video, do get a little bit of a benefit. You can see the, the theme itself is very clean as well. It's not jumping a beat here. Um, so the front end is nice. And uh, let's just go ahead and check the temps now. That, you know, I've been making this video, I know this video is probably short for you all, but... I've been recording for the last, where's my timer? Uh, for at least 30 minutes now. It says 30 plus minutes. It's like 31, 29 right now. So um, let's go ahead and go to options and do the system info. I think you can get temps here too, maybe. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah, there you go. 102, 102. 
So staying nice and cool, no issues. Um, so there you have it. That's how you overclock. That's how you set up your Dreamcast controls. Um, setting up your regular controls, you just hit start on the main screen, configure input, and configure input there. Um, other settings, yeah, you shouldn't really have to mess with anything else. Sound settings if you want to lower the sound a little bit. Uh, remember, you can search using select. And uh, as you know, this image is awesome. I'll put a link to the original uh, overview where you go into like what exactly is on here. Um, really, really well made, really clean. Um, as I mentioned in the previous build uh, video, you know, this is good enough that like if somebody was to, you know, this front end and everything, it's really nice. Like it, it seems worthy of a, of a, of a hardware and software it should beat the heck out of these, these mini systems that we keep getting. Um, anyway, so that's overclocking the virtual man, 256 gigabyte XI image. Shout out to virtual man, uh, Dwayne Hurst for this cool theme and uh, all the other people that help with their scripts and have helped the community out. This is really cool stuff. So I just want to show a little deeper dive, show some more gameplay. Um, if you want to see like Sega CD performance, stuff like that, I've done so many videos in the past. I just don't want to bore people and play the same stuff. Um, but what I would recommend with this image is place, get some, get some of the, put some time under your belt here. If you've never tried Daphne, this is a great image to check out Daphne. It's a lot of images don't have that preset up for you. And then the arcade collection in general, I think it has over 17, thousand games in it so um, you know spend some time there and then the biggest video on here is why why you're spending so much money on a 256 gigabyte SD card is in the PlayStation set massive massive to over 200 titles blows the PS1 mini in the water I mean that's really cool to have this many PS1 games and then also have all the extra stuff really 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 nice so that's enough of that rant uh, so thumbs up all around. Do I recommend overclocking? Yeah, if you have a decent case. I mean, I've run, I have certain, I've probably, I have like five pies now. I've probably had up to 30 or 40 pies, you know, throughout the years. Um, and I've never had one, any issues. What happens typically with overclocking is you'll start getting some instability, instability where, um, you know, you might crash, um, and you just get your pie itself when you touch it, it's just super hot. Right now, mine is not. Um, so without any kind of crashing or anything like that, you know, you're, I don't, I don't think you're gonna blow the thing up, especially at 1.5, going from 1.4 to 1.5. You should have an issue. And if you have the Pi 3, the the one that starts out at 1.3, you know, you can boost that one up uh, quite a bit higher as well. So. With all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.